So let me show you guys a trick to save money on art. I have a lot of flooring samples. I have uh, paid for some. Then I've also had some come as free samples. I have various carpet. Then I even have marmoleum. And I even have some bamboo flooring samples. And after you're finished selecting the floor, you're stuck with a bunch of samples. And I figured these are very, very pretty and they're already at the home. So let me put these on the wall for quick, inexpensive art. I've just been tacking and leveling the flooring sample on the wall with finishing nails. Uh, when it comes to the bamboo, I'm probably going to have to use a drill and some screws. But as you can see, when you look around the room, this wall has not been done and this wall has been done. The flooring samples make a very, very lovely art piece. Let me show you the back wall, which is done also. And the side wall. So I'm going to have art for every wall in my garage for under $20. Because like I said, most of the samples were free. And then the other ones were usually under a dollar or so per sample. So let me show you what it looks like after I have put up all these flooring samples. And I keep them out of the trash, which is good for the environment. And it's also a very, very efficient way to decorate. So my mom is holding the flooring sample in place. Now I'm going to get on the ladder and I'm going to use the finest finishing nail you can find. It's going to give it sort of a floating effect. All right, let me show you when it's done. So I just put one screw in, one nail in. Now I'm going to make sure it's level. And it is. Then I'm going to add more. Moving down to the bottom corner. Last section, then we move to another wall. Gonna have to put one right there also. Flooring sample to make beautiful art 
That was carpet. The next piece I'm going to hang up is going to be marmoleum. I'm just smoothing it down so it lays nice and flat. And then I'm tacking it with a finish nail. One more is needed on each side. So I just have a few more walls to go. I have on the closet door, I have marmoleum on the right. I have marmoleum on the left. In the middle is a nice piece of art I found at the thrift store. It's a candle holder and mirror, which is awesome. I think every room needs some kind of mirror. Now we're going to go over to the um, other walls. The other walls have carpet tiles used as art. And of course a license plate. This was a garage previously. But I think the carpet tiles and the marmoleum, they really, really, really make beautiful art. Okay, so I only have a few pieces of flooring left. So for this wall right here, I'm going to use bamboo. I have a nice big size piece of bamboo. Let me show you what it looks like when it's up on the wall. So the bamboo is up. It already matches perfectly with the wall. So because bamboo is rigid, you only need one screw at the top and one screw at the bottom. And it'll be in place nicely. Let me grab my drill. So it's nice and level and beautiful. Now I'm just throwing in the last uh, screw. And there we have bamboo up. So I'm showing you three types of floor, flooring. Use this art. This is bamboo, right here, over here, and for most of the perimeter we have carpet tile. On the closet wall, we have Marmoleum. And it comes in a variety of sizes. And I highly recommend you take your leftover flooring samples and you get some beautiful art for your rooms. Last corner is going to be another piece of carpet tile that was an odd size. But remember, it was a free sample, so I'm just using what I was given to make a room beautiful. So this was a really small piece of carpet tile compared to the rest of the carpet tile samples I had.
my mom is holding it in place. It's still gonna look really, really good in the room, even though it's an odd size. So let me go tack it out with my finisher nail and hammer. All of the flooring samples are up and they are all very, very beautiful. I will not need any more art in the room. All the art in this room was under $20. With flooring samples, with free and or seriously cheap flooring samples, which are called swatches. Um, a sign that's been up for years and a couple of thrift store finds like this mirror. Thank you for watching. I hope you seriously try putting flooring samples up as beautiful, beautiful art. Beautiful and affordable art. samples are up and they are all very very beautiful I will not need any more art in the room all the art in this room was under $20 with flooring samples with free and or seriously cheap flooring samples, which are called swatches. Um, a sign that's been up for years and a couple of thrift store finds like this mirror. Thank you for watching. I hope you seriously try putting flooring samples up as beautiful, beautiful art. Beautiful and affordable art.